What's going on guys? Today is June 10th, 2013. Apple had their WWDC keynote earlier, during which they released iOS 7. I actually have installed the first developer's preview on my phone here. As I'm sure you guys have heard of, they totally redesigned the operating system from you know head to toe. And I'm not going to walk through every single feature with you in this video, but I do want to give you guys an overview of the new, I guess, layout, the new operating system, some of my favorite features, some of the things that I'm sure you guys really want to see. And without rambling anymore, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So here we have my iPhone 4S, you know, nothing crazy to see here. And I will say that it did just finish stalling, but I have played with it for about 45 seconds or so. I mean, literally less than a minute. And so I just wanted to make sure everything was running before I go ahead and make this video. So everything seems to be, you know, upgraded successfully. And with that said, here we have the lock screen. As you can see, just like in the keynote, it is responsive to the accelerometer. So that's pretty nifty. Very clean font. Uh, let's see here, there we go, up here. Uh, we do have those little dots to represent signal, which is very cool. I do like the you know the very skinny font. Skinny fonts always make for really good technology and tech fonts, so there's that. But as you can see, we still have the slide to unlock, and also down there we have a camera and what looks to be like a little arrow, which I'm not quite sure what it does. Oh, there we go. That brings up the uh, control center, of which we can you know adjust airplay settings, use the built-in flashlight, which does work. Uh, you know, all these different things down here. I'm not even sure what that is. Looks like maybe it goes into the clocks. Yes, so there's your, like, you know, your alarms. But anyway, I'll go ahead and go back to the lock screen here. And we'll slide to unlock. And as you can see, the whole screen kind of moves out of the way. Little lag there. But once again, keep in mind, this is a developer preview. The first one, mind you. So there will be bugs. So keep that in mind. But as you can see, here we have the icons. I'll give you guys a nice close-up of those. As you can see, ones like TweetBot and Google... They obviously don't have the new icons yet, but I'm sure they will at some point in time. And down there in the dock, we have you know the all new icons there. Moving over here, I just have the one app, and that is settings. And um, here I actually have you know third party apps, which is kind of weird that they moved everything over a folder in the upgrade. But regardless, uh, here we go. So I guess the first thing I'll do is bring down Notification Center. And by, by all means, this is not going to be a cover of every feature. This is just you know a very relaxed video, just me seeing some things that I personally want to see and taking you guys with me on the ride. So uh, I have no events scheduled. So this looks like this little Today tab up here is for you know calendar and reminders, whereas we can have all notifications. And that's where you'll start seeing your Twitter replies and you know all that good stuff down there. Uh, Mist here, I've uh, I guess Tweetbot integrates with as a Mist notification because I haven't actually got into the app to see that yet. So pretty neat there. And like we just saw, I'll bring up the Control Center again, and this is very Android-like. Uh, we can toggle Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, the orientation lock, uh, you know, airplane mode, what song is playing, the volume, the brightness, everything right from here, which is very cool. And I find it better than Android because Android integrates it into say the notification center but you know adjusting bluetooth and things like that those aren't notifications so i feel that apple while they did take a lot longer to have you know ease of access on these controls they did it right in having this in a totally different menu than the uh, than the notification center so i think they did that absolutely right uh, as you can see you know screen brightness all that stuff does indeed work so very cool there uh, next thing i'll show you guys is you know what let's have a look at the new music app and uh, this, this preview seems to be a little bit slow, uh, you know, but like I said, that's to be expected. And the first thing we're agree with is welcome to iTunes Radio. Radio reimagined. So we'll kind of try to give that a listen, make sure my sounds are on. New uh, little ringer thing there, we'll call it a thing. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll try to add a station maybe. All right, so let's try, um, I don't know, for artist, maybe... August and by the way, there's the new keyboard. Pretty similar, but then again, different. You know, it's subtle. It's the subtle differences. Uh, so right here, I'm going to look up some August Burns Red, and this looks to be you know very Pandora or you know kind of like a Spotify-ish sort of replacement, and it's very cool because it's free. So as you can see, we start playing some awesome metal there, rocked on. But you know, very simple interface here. Uh, but now you know what I don't want radio I want to get to my actual music that's where we have all this stuff down here we have artists songs albums you know this is all very familiar to iOS users or even not iOS users but here's just the music I have on here right now 
Uh, by the way, his notification center does look pretty nice. Still can't really dismiss that notification though. Something to keep in mind. But uh, like I said, not much music on here, but you know, it looks kind of the way you would think it would. 11 songs, 35 minutes, so you know, it tells you, organizes it by album. Pretty straightforward. So this is the new music player. It is kind of nice. I liked the dark theme earlier, you know, from iOS 6, but this does look pretty nice. Moving in this way, we seem to have some, some kind of album, kind of like a cover flow replacement. Looks pretty nice. Of course, you know, the fact I don't have a lot of album art, but uh, regardless, we'll go ahead, that's enough of music. Um, let's try to check Safari. Once again, very nice uh, transitions, nice animations there. I really do like them. Um, yeah, there's something I was looking at earlier, the forestall versus the non forestall uh, calendar app. But uh, you know what? Let's just try to go to, I don't know, Roach Technology, why not? And so here we go. And I do have to say, while this is going on, the phone is a little warm. Uh, you know, this is very early, so it obviously hasn't been fully optimized. It's a little slow, but also makes the phone run a little warm. So, I mean, if you're running the developer's preview, don't panic. It's not just you. It's just how it is. But, you know, very, very similar experience. Uh, it's really nice, though, that all the controls at the bottom go away when you don't need them. And you see I tap there, which brought them up. Very neat. Go to Notification Center. So, looks like this isn't fully transparent. Whereas this kind of is. So nice little uh, design cues there. Going home. Now you know what? Let's look at the multitasking. You know, I have a couple apps open. Here's the brand new multitasking interface. So very smooth, especially considering this is a developer preview. And these apps back here have not been run at all since I updated. So those, you know, went just fine. But yeah, very neat. And um, I assume that dismissing an app is as easy as swiping upwards. Yep. So it's kind of like Palm Pre right there, like the Palm OS, where you just kind of slide stuff to uh, quit it. One thing I noticed missing though is Spotlight. There's no more Spotlight search, which is interesting because I use Spotlight all the time. I really hope they did not get rid of that. But let's have a look at the camera. All right, so down there you can change it. Video, photo, uh, square. I really don't know what that is. Oh, it wants me to turn on my uh, location, okay. So there's a pano, which obviously is, you know, panorama. Pretty neat. Square, which is nice for, you know, like Instagram or something like that. Just a regular photo and video. Up here we have, you know, the flash, on or off, very self-explanatory. Uh, I'm not sure what that does. Ah, oh, okay, that changes the camera to the, the front-facing camera. What's going on? Um, change that back. And so there's the camera app. I'm not gonna go take a bunch of pictures. But uh, to view those pictures, uh, we have the new Photos app right over here. Maybe that's what it's talking about. Yeah, years. So you can see I have like all these pictures here. And uh, if you, say for example, go to like mouse over them, or not mouse over them, but you know, touch them, you can see, nice little puppy there. But uh, you can actually get like a nice close up of those, which is pretty neat. And it actually takes you right to that picture. So pretty neat stuff going on in the photo app. Uh, going down here, it looks like you have a little share box. And so yeah, you can actually swipe left and right and share pictures, you know, just tap, 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 tap. And from there you can airdrop them, which is a really neat feature within uh, iOS 7. You can actually airdrop between other phones, I assume with OS 10 as well. Very convenient way to share, of sharing, you know, pictures or anything like that. The next thing I'd like to show you guys is Siri. So let's go ahead and ask her some stuff. What's the weather like today? It's not looking good today. Down to 63 degrees Fahrenheit and raining. So there you go. Uh, as you can see, Siri has very similar functionality, but an entirely new look. And it does look very good. Some would argue not quite as different as they would like, but honestly, I really like it. Uh, it definitely needed some kind of a redesign, and I think this does a pretty good job. Um, how are you feeling today? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Yes, I am very, very gangster. Uh, maybe one more thing, maybe some math. What's the derivative of 4x squared? Checking. The answer is 8 times x. So there you go, you still get that, you know, Wolfram Alpha stuff for all that hardcore calculus. But there you go, Siri works the way you'd think. And uh, one more thing here, we'll launch weather. Why not? So here we go, we can, you know, scroll through 
all the different uh, you know times, all the different days and their forecast. Uh, to actually swipe between locations, you can actually just go at the top there. See, I'm not sure how we can exactly dismiss that notification without pulling it down like previous releases. But a uh, very nice uh, weather app. I have to say that I was very pleasantly surprised during the keynote when they when they actually showed this. Uh, definitely a really nice surprise. Oh, actually, right now on the screen, hopefully you could see that. It's very hard to see, but there are some raindrops. They're very subtle. You can kind of see them there. But uh, hopefully we get a nice thunderstorm and I'll see some nice bolts of lightning and such down there. Really neat stuff. Uh, next we'll go into the deforestalled calendar. Um, you know, nothing crazy here, but you can swipe left and right to view different days. Uh, you can see we could turn it horizontally, which by the way, pretty snappy performance, even especially on an iPhone 4S. This is not Apple's current device, so it'll probably be even smoother on the iPhone 5. But yeah, there you go. There's your deforestalled calendar app. Very, very simple and clean looking. I really like it a lot, actually. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure of what else to show you guys. As far as I know, you know, it still doesn't rotate like this. Um, you guys saw the notification center. You guys saw the control center. Um, let's look for, where's newsstand? Let's see, I've, I've heard online that we can actually hide newsstand but I don't know where that is and I can't spotlight search it. Aha, I have found it. There we go, we have a new stand, totally different icon. So let's see what happens if we go into it. So now it's like an actual app, which is a lot better than what it was. And now I assume that yes, you can put it into a folder. The folder, you know, new little interface here, but it does basically the same thing. And But it looks like now you can have two pages within that folder. So very neat there. Definitely an, uh, an improvement to what we had. Oops, don't go back. You know what, you can just stay there, that's fine. <laughs> but there you guys go, this has just been a really quick overview of the new iOS 7 Developers Preview 1. Uh, please don't ask you know, for links or anything because I'm not gonna give them to you. Um, but you know, there you go, there's pretty much all the main features. Um, you know, Check me out on Twitter, I'm at CPUKid. Also be sure to check out roachtechnology.com and I hope to see you guys back here very soon.